All right, so let's talk about WooCommerce shortcodes. Even though it sounds technical, no coding skills are required here. They are basically small lines of code that you can copy and then paste into your site to get different functionalities. Now, WooCommerce shortcodes help you display products in different ways. I'll quickly show you how to do all of this and that will give you a good overall picture on how to use WooCommerce shortcodes. Let's start with a new page at the heading by clicking this plus sign and change the heading size to H3. Then search for the shortcode widget and add that here. Now it's time to add a first shortcode here, but there are some formatting rules here. You need to always write shortcodes in lowercase, use underscores for text and spaces for variable separation and close the value within double quotation marks and the whole shortcode within the square bracket. To extract or add the new plant products to our page, we need to write products limit equals six. This code limits the output to six. Then columns equals three, order by equals ID, order equals DESC, and category equals large plants, medium plants, small plants. Now, when we save and view the page, we can see the updated page with a list of new plants added to our store. To learn more, click on the link below to check out the full video.